September 21st and 22nd are the dates for Trinity's Oktoberfest. The Trinity Brass Ensemble Oompa Band will kick off the entertainment both nights, followed by professional DJ Mike Pet Petritis? Weird name. On Friday, and the Sam Baker Band on Saturday. We will have the usual menu of brats, pretzels, pulled pork, and the one in a million apple dumplings, and of course, some excellent adult beverages to wash it down. Invite your friends and neighbors to this great community event. Brothers and sisters in Christ, you've been richly blessed by the Lord with the gift of faith. Salvation is yours, won by your Lord Jesus Christ. You have been incorporated into this community of believers where your faith is being nurtured and you're growing as a disciple of Jesus. And you're living out your calling of servanthood in the world in lots of different ways. We have an exciting servant activity happening on the weekend of September 15th and 16th, Trinity's Community Walk 2012. I want to encourage you to prayerfully consider giving three hours of your weekend on Saturday the 15th or Sunday the 16th for the advancement of God's kingdom right here in Roselle. On that weekend, we will have teams, pairs of our people going door to door in Roselle, interviewing our neighbors and gathering prayer requests. Between the training that will be offered on the two days of the walk and the actual time visiting our neighbors, I'm anticipating that your time commitment will be about three hours. Will you give three hours for the kingdom of God? Please open your worship folder and take out the insert for the community walk. The insert has all of the pertinent information about the walk and will also serve as a registration form for you to indicate your intent to walk with us. If you would like to participate but can't walk, there are administrative and clerical tasks that could use your hands instead of your feet. I'll be in the lobby after services today to address any questions that you might have and to receive your filled out registration form. Come and see me after worship. God's peace. Over the past few weeks, you've seen a couple of examples of how our youth ministry has had a major impact on the life of two teenagers. Supporting the youth ministry and our young people is one of the important aspects of the Sow for a Double Harvest effort. Emily has been a part of the Sunday Night Youth Group for the last year. Listen to her describe how it's grown, how she's grown, and what her hopes are for the future. Well, the first day, nobody knew what to expect. I didn't even know what to expect. Uh, there weren't that many people because there wasn't anybody to get the word out. And now that there are more people, I feel like each day or each Sunday, we have somebody new who comes in and they end up loving it because everybody is so friendly. And I think the messages keep getting better. At the beginning, the band was fairly small, and now the band has expanded pretty far out. People are sitting on the ground, people are laying on the ground, and it's just expanded so much. We can't dance. We have a dance crew, and we can't dance in the space that we have because of all the instruments and all the chairs and couches and people. So um, we overall need more space for all the kids that are coming to learn about God. As a senior now, um, I'm seeing that there are a lot of younger teenagers that are just beginning to find their way with God in their lives and it's a new thing and I totally agree it's scary and I want to be able to help um, younger students help them find their own path through God. I want to be able to lead them and show that I want to be an example. I want them to see that I was where they were like four years ago. I was in the same exact spot and I want them to know that they're not the only people who have to go through it alone because we're all here and I want to be a part of the team that gets to lead them to those discoveries. Hey, hey, hey.